Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at assistive access. Now, this is a feature available on iPhones and iPads, and it's pretty much just going to give you a more minimal and simplified experience on your iPhone or your iPad. So this can be a really great feature you can use for kids where you just wanna give them access to maybe a couple of games and maybe Netflix. You can set it up so those are the only apps that they have access to and then they can't do anything else on their iPad. So this is also really great for seniors who might find using their devices a little bit overwhelming. You can simplify the interface for them and just add in certain apps that they wanna use, whether they just need access to the phone and text messaging, or if they want to be able to check the weather or take a few photos. This is really going to simplify things just so they can use the things that they want to use and not worry about anything else. So to get started, the first thing you want to do is just make sure that your iPhone or iPad is running on iOS 17 or later. So to do this, you just want to go to settings and then down to general. And then in general, you can see somewhere that will say your iPhone version or your iPad version. And you just want to make sure that is iOS 17 or later. So you can see mine here is 18.4.1, so that is great. If your device is on something older to update it, all you need to do is press the back button and then go to software update. And then your device is going to check for an update. And if there's an update available, you can update your device and then you should be good to go. So if you have a really old iPhone or iPad, um, it may not be able to update to ISO 17. I'll put on the screen a list of compatible devices so you can see there. So yeah, if your iPad is on iOS 17 or later, we can get started. Okay, so to get assistive access set up, we wanna go to settings and then you wanna go scroll down to accessibility. And then in accessibility, we'll scroll down until we see assistive access down the bottom. And so then you want to click on set up assistive access and it's going to take you through a little bit of a setup guide. So we're going to click continue and this is going to associate it with the iCloud account on the phone. So you just want to click continue. For the appearance, you have two options. You can set the apps to be in like a list view, which is row or a grid view. So you can select whatever you like and you can change this later once it's all set up if you're not happy with your decision. But um, we're just gonna go for grid, then continue. And then this is going to be where we're gonna select the apps that we want. Let's say we want calls. In here, we're going to select who do we wanna receive calls from? So it can just be from the contacts in the phone, just the favorites in the phone or anyone. So for this, we're just gonna go anyone. But let's say if, you were doing this for your child, um, you might just want it from the contacts in the phone or their favorites. And then we have make calls to, and for this demonstration, I'll just click anyone, but you can choose what option suits you. And then we go continue. And then we wanna add maybe messages. And then you have the same options again, continue. And let's add the camera. And so for the camera settings, you can have the option to just do photos or you can have videos. If you select photo selfie and video selfie, that's going to use this camera on the front. But if you don't tick them, it's only gonna use it on the back camera. So you might find with some people, they might have, they might get confused between which camera they're using. So you might just wanna use the back one or you might just wanna use the front one but if you want um, access to the front and the back camera, we're gonna select all of it. If you wanna give them access to Apple Music if they use that and Apple Photos. So if they have access to the camera, they're probably gonna need access to Apple Photos to look at their photos. And you can include shared albums if you want to, but we're just gonna go continue. And then down here is all the third party apps that are already installed on the phone. So make sure all the apps that you wanna add are installed on the phone first, and then you can just come through here and select whatever you want. Maybe if they need alarm clocks or anything like that, or world clock. If they wanna do their emails on their phone, you can also add that. You could add Apple Maps or Google Maps, whatever you use, if they need to be able to use that. 
if I scroll right back up to the top, you can see all the apps that I've added. So you can also change the order here to change where, which way they're displayed on the home screen. So if you think something like the weather is super important, you can drag it up to be up here or something. Once you've selected your apps, we're gonna go continue. There's also gonna be a few other features that will be available. So triple click the side button to access emergency calling if they needed to. You can just read through the other things here. So we continue. Assistive access and unlocking the iPhone. So it can use face ID and a passcode. So you would have already set that up in your phone. So you can go into your phone security settings and make any changes if you have to. So we're just gonna go continue because that's already set up on my phone. And this is the passcode to get out of assistive access. So if you've put this on your child's device, keep this password to yourself if you don't want them to, to be able to get out of assistive access. But you also don't want to forget this password because if you forget it, you're going to be stuck in assistive access. So make sure it's something you will remember. For this video, I'm just going to put a couple of zeros, but make sure it's harder than that. And then in case you do forget your assistive access passcode, you should set up a recovery in your Apple iCloud account. So I would click on this button here and go through those settings to set that up. If you do happen to forget the password that you've just made, you can recover it and get yourself out of assistive access. So um, I would definitely recommend doing that but I won't do that for this video. It's quite simple. You just follow the steps when you click this button, but I'm just gonna go not now. So when you wanna get out of assistive access, you need to press this button on the side three times. So one, two, three, and then it's gonna bring up that password. You can put the password in and get yourself out of assistive access. So continue. Okay, and then we are all set up and ready to go. So we wanna start using it. And so we put our password in to go into it. And for the first time, it's just gonna take a few seconds to populate everything and get it all set up. Okay, so it's just reminding you to, if you wanna get out of this view, you press this button, one, two, three. So now you can see how simple this is. You've got all your apps with big icons. So it's gonna be really easy for whoever's using this to find what they need. And it's only the apps that you wanna put on there. So there's literally nothing else. So if you go into calls, you can see you've got your recents, your contacts and a keypad. So everything is displayed in a really simple way. Big back button, um, the camera, so they can pick what camera they wanna use. And then the, there's a big take photo button. So it really just makes things super simple. And so yeah, you have all of your apps available. So apps, third party apps like Netflix, it's going to open up in the normal way. So if you click onto Netflix, it's just gonna log in the way you normally would. And then you would select your profile and then the app will just look like it normally would on the normal phone. So yeah, and then there's always this big back button to get you back, so it's really easy. So yeah, that's all of the apps. So literally like when you lock your phone, you unlock it um, so you can tap and use your normal phone's passcode to get in or your face ID. So if I just hold this up to my face, now that's unlocked, I can click open and it takes me back in. So the assistive access passcode is only to log out of this mode. It's not your normal pin code to get into your phone. You just want to press this three times and then you have this settings option up the top here. And then you're gonna put in the assistive access passcode, which is the zeros that I put in. And in here, this is where if you need to make the text bigger on your phone, put it into airplane mode. Um, if you want it to be dark mode like I have, so everything looks darker, I just find it easier on my eyes. But if you want everything to be a lot lighter, just turn that off. You also have your volume and brightness and you can shut down the phone in here if you need. If we go back, um, you also have emergency. So if you need to make an emergency call to 000 or 911, if you're in the US, you can do that. And this is also where you're going to exit out of this mode. So if we go exit, we put the assistive access pin in. 
and then it's going to take me back to my normal phone setup and then if so then you can do whatever you need to do on the phone but if you want to get it back into it you just have to go back to settings and down to accessibility and assistive access and so in here this is where you can go back and update any of your apps make any changes we can also change this to rows in here and this is where you want to go to change the wallpaper so if you click wallpaper you can come in here and this is connected to Apple Photos and you can pick any photo that you want to be the wallpaper. And then you have also a few extra settings like allow the volume button. You can allow silent mode, show time on lock screen, show the battery level, which I think that's a good idea so they know when to charge their phone, show notification badges so they know if they have a missed call or a text message, that's good. I just, I'm just going to keep Siri off and also if you want to come and change your passcode settings. So that's where you find the extra settings and then if you want to go back into it, you go start assistive access and we'll put the assistive access pin code in. Okay, and so now you can see I've changed it to the row format so everything's in a row so you can just see what you like better and I've also added the battery icon so you can see how much battery is left on the phone which is a handy thing and you also have when you lock it the wallpaper that you selected. So you just hit open and you can put your phone's password in to get in or use your face ID. So yeah, this is super easy to use and you can also do this on your iPad, which is the exact same process. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks for watching.